Hello, I'm Adam Rosen. Welcome back. So total knee replacement is an incredibly successful operation for many people, and it is performed millions of times every year around the globe. But unfortunately, some people have persistent pain. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the top 10 reasons that you might be dealing or struggling with pain after total knee replacement surgery. So stay tuned. Okay, the first and probably most devastating reason for somebody to have pain after a total knee replacement is infection. So although infection rates are around 2%, that still means that two out of every 100 patients that has a knee replacement is gonna wind up with an infection. So what we would do in that situation are a series of laboratory tests and then commonly take an aspiration. So it's putting a needle into the knee to drain the knee and send the fluid off to the lab to determine what particular bacteria is infecting the knee. And since antibiotics alone are not enough to cure the infection, it usually requires one or more surgeries to go in and remove the implant and wash out the knee joint while you're under a course of intravenous antibiotics in the attempts to hopefully get rid of the infection. The second reason I would like to share with you for reasons that you might have pain after a total knee replacement are instability. So this can occur early where during surgery either there, either there was an over resection of bone or the plastic insert that was put in was too thin and this leaves the knee loose or unstable and that can cause pain and dysfunction of the knee joint. Now late there can be a number of reasons for instability to develop. One of the more common reasons we see very late is just the plastic wore out. If the knee had been in for 20 years or more, you may have worn down the plastic insert, which has led to instability. And this is usually remedied with a revision to put a thicker plastic in. Occasionally, and we don't know exactly why, some patients will stretch out. So this is a surgery that goes well and they have a pretty uneventful course, but within a year or two, they've developed a lot more looseness and laxity, they've stretched out their ligaments, and now they're having pain and dysfunction. One other reason that people might develop instability at any point after a knee replacement is in certain knee designs, we try to retain the PCL or posterior cruciate ligament. But since it is a ligament, it can be damaged. So if somebody has an injury or a fall, um, they can rupture that ligament. And after that injury, now due to the rupture, they have developed instability in that knee joint. The third reason I'll talk about as a potential cause of pain after total knee replacement is an oversized component. So this can happen in a few different areas. Either the tibial base plate, so that is the plate that goes on the shin bone, is overhanging on one side or the other or both. Or sometimes the thigh bone component also can be too wide or it can be too big front to back. If it's too big front to back, a lot of people have difficulty bending the knee, what we call flexion. But if the implants are too wide, either on the thigh bone or shin bone, and they're overhanging, it can cause pain on the ligaments and the soft tissue that surrounds the knee. A lot of patients will describe it as having a belt wrapped around their knee. In any event, this can cause pain. And if the pain is significant, the only remedy in most cases is a revision surgery to put an appropriately sized implant inside the knee. The fourth potential cause of pain after total knee replacement is what we call malalignment. So in our world, it is very complicated because there's still a number of theories as to what the best position is, but there's still a fairly, fairly narrow margin of where we aim to put a knee when we do the surgery. So if a bone cut was made incorrectly on either the thigh bone or the shin bone, and the implants are put in in a crooked position, this can not only affect the function of the knee joint and how it bends and straightens, but it can actually affect the entire function of the whole leg if the leg is left very knock-kneed or bow-legged, and that can cause a lot of pain and problems when patients are trying to walk. The fifth common reason that we see people that have pain after total knee replacement may surprise you. The reason is hip arthritis. And the reason is because many people that have hip arthritis may describe pain that goes down the front of the leg and even into the knee. And the way that the hip arthritis affects the leg is it turns the leg out so the knee is not pointed straight forward and it winds up putting strain and stress on the knee as people try to walk. 
So it's not uncommon for someone to think the knee is the problem. And there are a number of patients that have gone through a knee replacement surgery only to have persistent pain to later be diagnosed with hip arthritis based on an x-ray and require a hip replacement that then solves the problem. So always be aware if you have limited range of motion in your hip, difficulty putting on your shoes and socks, pain in your groin, that you want to make sure that the doctor is evaluating not only your knee, but also your hip. Number six on this top 10 list of reasons for you to have pain after total knee replacement is weakness, uh, both of the quadriceps and the hamstring, but more specifically the quadriceps. I always describe the quadriceps muscle, the thigh muscle, as the core muscle of your knee because people are familiar with the idea of strengthening their core if they have back problems. And the same holds true that if somebody has a weak quad, they can have pain with a normal knee, they can have pain with an arthritic knee, but they can still have pain after knee replacement because of weakness in the quad. It leads to an unstable knee because they don't have the strength to support their weight getting out of a chair, climbing stairs, and even walking on level ground. Number seven is an unresurfaced patella. So in the world, um, some patients will have a knee replacement where we replace the thigh bone and the shin bone part only and leave their normal or what we call their native kneecap or patella. And in other instances, the doctor may choose based on the appearance of the cartilage to remove that bad cartilage on the back of the kneecap and put a plastic button. And in that case, they resurface all three parts of the knee. But um, if somebody does not have the kneecap resurfaced, they still have their cartilage, which is now rubbing on the bone. And that can lead to pain in which case a revision surgery to then revise the kneecap and put a plastic button on is important. And this is complicated because there's still a number of people, and you can see based on this list, that have a knee replacement even when the kneecap has been resurfaced, but still have pain. So it's hard to guarantee with 100% certainty if the kneecap wasn't resurfaced that that is the main or sole cause of the pain in that total knee replacement. The eighth reason that patients might develop pain after a total knee replacement is due to scar tissue. And there are a number of reasons this can occur. Sometimes due to pain or swelling, a patient is unable to put in a full effort with their physical therapy early on, and that can lead to scar tissue forming. There are some people that work really, really hard, but we don't always have great control of biology, and they can still lay down a ton of scar tissue. In that case, when the motion is severely restricted, it is called arthrofibrosis. Now, there's a number of things that we can do if aggressive physical therapy isn't helping. Occasionally, we can take a patient back to the operating room early and do what's called a manipulation under anesthesia. And if that doesn't work, sometimes late surger surgical procedures doing what's called an open lysis of adhesions, where we literally go in and carve out or cut out the scar tissue. And at that time, also, there's a possibility if there's a thinner plastic, we can take out the plastic that is in there and put a thinner plastic to hopefully gain more range of motion. Number nine on this list is loosening. So patients that have a loose total knee replacement, and it can either be one or both, typically describe what we call startup pain, which means that if they're sitting, they don't have any pain at rest. When they go to get up, it's usually the first 10, 15, 20 steps cause a lot of pain. And once the implant gets set back into place, the pain diminishes. But once they sit down again and rest and get up, that startup pain returns. Now, we might see this early in what we call press fit implants, where the implant is put in and the bone has to grow into the implant. If that doesn't occur, it leads to a loose implant, which can cause these symptoms. We also see these late. If the implant had been put in a long time ago, the, even the interface between the bone and the cement um, or the cement and the implant can debond, and that can cause this startup pain. Now, we might see this on x-ray um, if the loosening is significant, but occasionally we'll do a special test called a bone scan, which can show abnormal activity, which may indicate that one or both of those parts are loose. So to round out this list of top 10 reasons that you might have pain after a total knee replacement is metal allergy. So there are a number of patients that are sensitive to nickel and even some patients that are sensitive to cobalt and chromium. And we see this more frequently in total hip replacements that are made with a cobalt chrome head and cup. But in any event, some patients still can develop a soft tissue reaction. 
Many companies are now starting to make implants that are made without nickel or without cobalt or chromium, or in other instances, companies have implants that are made of cobalt and chromium, but are coated with a special coating to prevent any leaching of that metal into the soft tissues and into the body. But in any event, if you have had all of these other potential causes of pain ruled out, your surgeon might talk to you about looking further into whether or not you have a sensitivity or an allergy to one of the metals that is in your knee replacement. So that's my top 10 reasons for why you might have pain after a total knee replacement. I can understand why a patient might be very upset and frustrated after seeing so many patients go through the same surgery and have good successful outcomes. And at this point, they're still dealing and struggling with pain and other problems. It's extremely important to make sure that you have a good rapport with your doctor, that you've been able to explain all of your concerns, and that the doctor is invested in your care and has taken the time to rule out some of these potential causes and see if there's something that could be changed or modified that might alleviate the pain and suffering that you've been dealing with. I, I thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you get updated when videos like this come out. And until next time, I'm Adam Rosen. Stay safe.